Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm Mike the Explosive One. And let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. So, uh, have you ever, like, wa- looked at, like, I don't know, like a police blotter or, like, whatever that talks about, like, the, when the cops arrest people, they, like, put it on the internet. You just put it in the newspaper and they, like, you know, say, like, so-and-so was arrested and they'll, like, have a picture or, like, whatever. No, I've seen, like, the ones where they have, like, the, uh, what are those, like, newspaper things they keep in the gas stations? they would be like, these people have committed crimes. Uh, like the know. little police newspaper that they used to put out. Oh, I don't Maybe know. Maybe that was a Florida thing. Yeah, I, don't I know, know. it's definitely a Florida thing. So, um, either way. So what happened is the in California, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they the cops were taking photos like while they like you know or body cam footage like of arresting people. Yeah. And they were superimposing Lego heads on top of their on their face to cover their face for privacy. So it's like a picture of like a cop putting handcuffs on a guy's hands behind his back, and it has like a Lego head instead of his head and then it was like two people in the back of a cop car like looking out the door you know they're in the back seat hank looking that way lego heads what Why so is like that? and that's how they were protecting the people's privacy and it was like funny be like a lego head with like a little tear or like something like that okay so lego has now demanded that they stop doing that. yeah <laughs> lego's like yo yeah quit putting our heads on criminals yeah I don't and think I, so. And I just thought that shit was hilarious. Like, why would they do that? I don't know. I well, I need to. We should be able to see these people who are behaving poorly, whether they yeah, be the, the cops or like, the yeah, criminals. Why are you not putting the real criminal's face or the cops for that? Matter. The, no, the cops' face is real. Okay, it's just it's just the the criminals are putting Lego heads on. No, 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 no. You commit a crime. Public shame is the least of your worries. All right. Oh, uh, dude, keep... I wish we did more public shaming. Uh hmm. I mean, to a certain extent, I agree. I yeah. think it would may be, it may decentivize uh, people from doing like more petty crimes. I like the ones where the judge makes them stand on the corner with like a sign and just like humiliate mm. them for doing something stupid. Mm. Like it's like you can go to jail or you can stand on the corner for like eight hours, three different days with a sign saying like I stole from Walmart or something like that. That, that is exactly what they would do it for. <laughs> something something minor like that. Yeah. It's and like, honestly, I feel like yeah. That's that's a, that's that's a good punishment. It, it is because it's so embarrassing to like have to go out there and just own up for what you did and like just blare it to the world. Like, yep. or you know what? Even what I've also thought of, Jonas. Hear me out. Okay. Public canings. Public canings. What? So you're not about like people fighting to the death, but you'll get, whack them in public. It's just the ass whooping. It's just an ass whooping. Look, man, I grew up with ass whoopings. I'm sorry. Is that not, is that not good? Adult I mean, ass whoopings? Dude. We can't whoop adult ass? Having someone like lean over and just get whipped with a cane in public would definitely be a deterrent. Okay. It's it, not. It's non-lethal. It hurts like a bee. It hurts like a bee. There's no permanent damage, really. You got some welts. Can't sit down for a little okay. bit. Okay. And then you get to go on about your life and you'll think about what you've done. Young man. Yeah, when you can't sit down for a week because, like, your ass hurts yeah. so bad from the caning. Oh, maybe you shouldn't do crimes. All right. You can't walk because they hit you in the back of the thighs. Bro, just... <laughs> no, I don't care. I'm very conservative when it comes to the war on crime because I don't commit crimes, all right? Yeah. To, to the best of my knowledge. You know? Yeah, no, I feel you. Yeah. So, I, you know, like, I, I don't have any. Like, yeah, I feel you because like do I don't crimes. do stuff that's gonna get me to have to do these punishments. So yeah, we do, I don't really care how harsh they are. Exactly. When you're stealing from somebody, when you're hurting other people, we need di- more creative forms of punishment. John, that is what I'm. Oh, I'm in for creative. That's punishment. what I'm saying. Absolutely. So when you say like the public shaming, the putting like the face of people who. Who do these who steal from stores on like bus terminals so that everybody can see or oh like, I love the like this guy the uh, don't take checks from this guy and it has their face like in the convenience store. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> yeah, like they should they should take out like a a, a a Super Bowl slot and just like show the faces of all the people that are writing bad checks. That'd be <laughs> great. That would be so Bro, great. It's like And then when your employer sees it be like, Man, why are you writing bad checks? I gotta let you go. But, oh no, you lost your job, Jonas. You're canceled. How are the turntables. Exactly. If you could lose everything because of the some stupid shit you did. Jonas, man. I love cancel culture. Do you? Alright. <laughs> I'm done. 
I said it, John. I said what I got to say what I said. That's it. I guess it's just me talking for the rest of the episode. I love it. I'm... I love it. I don't even care, Jonas. I love it. And it's going to come for me one day. It's going to come for you. It's going to come for us, Jonas. But you know, we're ready. We're ready for it. And right now, I love it, Jonas. Because if you do bad ish, bad ish comes back to you. I oh, mean, no. karma. Karma's a bee. Exactly. Dude. Bro, there's nothing better than the cell phone camera right now, Jonas. I can catch you. Everybody doing exactly the bad stuff they could thought he, they could do. And you know how you don't get caught? Don't wild out and do ignorant oh, stuff. Exactly. You know how many times I've been caught screaming at a cashier in a store? None, cause you know what? I don't do that. Yeah, you know, you know why you don't, Jones? Because you got a life where you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. You know, we don't have. I don't know if it's if it's people getting stressed out. If it was COVID, America's going crazy. So guess what? Cameras are catching you, motherfuckers, and you're going to jail. It's like yeah. If it was up to me, you'd be getting caned. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and it's like the people that just like lose their mind on airplanes and stuff too. And it's like mm. it's like, bro. Like what do you what we're all in a can together? Ban banished to the Greyhound realm. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Like while out to the point you can't fly. Like good good luck. Seven day trip across the country on a Greyhound. That sounds fun. Uh, though I will have to say, Jonas, in, in in very 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 small defense of those people, if I ever get to the point where I feel like I'm going to get banned from flying. F it. <laughs> we going all the way, man. We going all the way. F it. I don't know. I don't know if I could lose my temper that badly. I'm saying it. I don't think I would ever get to that point. But if I'm like, well, it's looking like I'm probably never going to get to fly again. F it. <laughs> then you're just going to like just while out at yeah. that point. Okay. I'm doing backflips in the aisle. I'm flipping babies. Wow. I don't know. I'm just turning them over lightly. Just flipping. What are you talking <laughs> just, I'm slightly rearranging yeah, their yeah, posture. What would you think I was doing? No, I don't. Weirdo. Dude, it's just. <laughs> You're weird. I'm not weird. <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you have to defend yourself. Yeah, so. Trying to help the babies out. I, I Don't want them to sleep on their stomachs. I'm flipping babies. Yeah, exactly. So, But I don't know, man. I just. I am all for the shaming. <laughs> Okay, so you say shaming, I say caning. We already got jail. They almost rhyme. Yeah, we already got jail and fines, community service. We need something else. What else can we do? Community service is a good one too. Honestly, longer ser terms of community service, oh, man. or versus it. So, like, if you don't do your community service, then you get an extended, you get extensions added onto the possible jail time that you could. I got. think you know, you or know, caning. It's it's. I like the community service too because there's a lack of volunteers. There's exactly. there's a need, and like and the problem is, is like you force someone who doesn't want to do it to do something, they they're gonna do a half-ass job. That's true. That's, That's the true. problem. So it's That's like, true. but I think they do have stipulations that if they go and they're just being lazy and whatever, the people don't have to sign off on their volunteer. Oh, hours. That's true too. So it's like, but I feel like I would almost rather make them volunteer. Then make them stand on a corner because there's like there's so many like shelters and all this stuff that could use help, whether it's an animal shelter, a homeless shelter, yeah. like a domestic women's abuse shelter, like whatever people can need need help and causing yeah. people who do dumb shit like write a bad check at Walmart. Go go serve a food kitchen for like three days. That's very true, Jonas. Uh, a half ass job is better than getting your whole ass caned. Yeah, I a I would much rather serve homeless people food then get caned <laughs> or stand on the corner with a sign saying i passed a bad check at walmart yeah i don't know I, I do think we need to come up with some more creative punishment in this country uh you, uh, give us a give us an idea in the comments below if you think you know you, what else we you can have do. to wear a dog collar and they walk you around downtown. Bro, look, i know people who pay for that <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah, the, the judge gets to walk all the criminals around downtown like oh, like like one of those God. dog walkers. Yeah, but it's that's, just that's some fetish shit. You have people <laughs> committing crimes just to get that punishment. Yeah, they're like, "Ooh, he's an old man. I love that. Let's have him just oh, lead man. me around by a leash." <laughs> yeah. Ugh. All right. I got weird. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, they're like, "I love a woman in power. Let me let me have her drag me around." Mm. All right. So, well, yeah, there you go. We'll keep so, that in mind. Keep that in your thoughts for the rest of the week. Yes. The p p pleasure for punishment, huh? <laughs> all right. That's all the time we have today's episode. Go to thecrazynow.com to subscribe. Don't make, you, don't make you ejaculate till you pass out. That's Jesus. <laughs> okay. TNT. We're talking about getting weird. We out. <laughs>